grid, the transportation network of electricity, delivers electricity from a generating station to a distribution point, perhaps in a city or in some locale. And in fact, some of that grid was built in the 1880s. If you think about that, Edison invented the light bulb in the late 1880s. So he created this grid, and certainly on the East Coast, and some of it's still in use today. The grid is now a highly integrated interstate system, but it's an aging grid. It's a grid of yesterday, and with all the uh, important power needs that we have going on, it powers our economy, and we need to make sure that the grid is strong enough to handle that. When you look at energy, specifically when you look at electricity, there is nothing more critical than reliability. There's not a business in this country that doesn't function without electricity. When you lose the internet, you're in 1979. If you lose the power system, you're in 1879. If the electricity goes out, businesses will shut down for the day. They'll send their workers home. Goods and products don't get made. Profits are lost. It's expensive. It costs us money when we can't have jobs, we can't have operations. Uh, it's important. We need reliable electric power because we have an electron guzzling digital economy that is increasingly demanding of reliability that is 100%. There's nothing more critical to the American economy than energy. Electric companies are investing in the grid, but what we need is a strategy over time to bring it back into good condition. Between now and probably 2040 or 2050, we'll effectively be replacing the electric system. There's some 17,000 circuit miles are on the books ready to go. We need to be able to permit those. It's going to require some very progressive uh, legislation. It's a very far-sighted policy making. You have newer technologies coming online, the cleaner energy that we're going to see that's going to be built out. We need investment in the infrastructure to deliver all this new energy to make us more reliable. It's just not uh, the government that has a stake in infrastructure. It's every business, it's every community. We have the technology, we have the knowledge, and we're ready to build the lines. We just need to make that investment so that we can meet these needs.